I'm going to put this one away for now because the Sphera, we got to open it all the way up. We got to we, we gotta crack it open and I got to show you the insides because so it's going to take a little bit longer. We got to get out the Brian Mercado tray. We need a screwdriver. We need a Sphera. And then, holy Lord, the parts that I have accumulated for this thing. First of all, I don't know where I got used. I don't know where the bag went, but hey, I got a little bag here. It's not the blue bag it comes with, but there we go. It's got its original box. That's so important with Modus Works stuff. This is basically your certificate of uh, uh, authenticity. Uh, I've accumulated so many rubber spacers for it. So there's like all these rubber spacers. We won't really need to use those. Make crunch. And then the, the foam dampeners make it not crunch. So many balls. We can put different balls in it. So here's the thing, you know, you've got you've got rubber balls. You have got stainless steel balls. These are the other I bought a 10 pack of ceramic black balls off of Amazon and those are the other two. You only need 8 per 8 per sphera. And then there's a whole bunch of brass balls that I bought. I even saw uh I even saw tungsten balls on Amazon at one point. But I didn't get those cuz I thought, I don't know, I don't want it too too heavy. So we got all these balls. We can try putting other balls in. Um, and then all these weird looking, these look very different from the plates. Sorry, the inserts of a V2. So these are the inserts of for a wrapped V1. They look different, but these are V1.1 inserts. They were V1 inserts and all of the, let me get one of these out, show you. All of the end points on the magnets they were further out, they were further out in that way. So it made it that when you slid your slider, you actually ended up almost like there. It was very close to the end and it was not very good. It wasn't as good. So you would be like out there. And I don't know, people weren't into it as much. Uh, Jonas realized it and then he made the uh, V1.1 inserts, which is what all of these are. There's some aluminum ones for medium. There's some aluminum ones for strong, and there are some plastic ones for medium. And then there's also, this actually is a, there's two sets. I don't know. I can't remember how I ended up with two sets in it right now is the plastic custom made hybrid inserts that would have never existed when V1 was be made because you didn't have hybrid back then. You didn't have hybrid with the V1. The hybrid insert came with the V2 wrapped. So Alfonso Huin, uh, bless him and his 3D printer for helping us so much in the community and 3D printing so many things. He 3D printed some hybrid ones, made them up, 3D printed them. And he was doing that for Gavin Sexton, I believe, for the sphere that he used to have. And I went, oh my God, I want some of those. That seems so good. And they are so good. They're so good with the hybrid in there. So yeah. All right. So what I want to do, it's actually great that I have this spare set. I honestly, I don't even know if I remember how I got this as well. So this is another thing that's only is for the Sphera is these plates. These plates are so specific to the V1. All V1 plates look like this. And they just look like this only for the Sphera. That was actually kind of like a, in my opinion, it was sort of like a, maybe an oversight for the fact that even if you weren't using the Sphere of Balls, and that's all that these are for, is for the Sphere design. But there was four other designs for the V1 that didn't even require this part in, in the plate, right? So then we got to the V2 and we got rid of all that. We kind of just went, no, we only need two designs and you know, that's all good. I just want to open this up real quick. Then you can just kind of see, we'll just like change some balls out or something like that. But at least it uses the same screws. There we go. And back in the day for the old wrapped, he used to spell it phonetically. So you have the phonetic kind of thing in there for the laser engraving. So SP always signified Sphera. Right there. Get that to focus. Yeah. A little SP right there. Number 23. So SP was Sphera because uh, S was spiral. There was a spiral design. And then they also had the Skelly, but he had so many S's. So Skelly was K, I believe. Yeah. K was for the Skelly. And then there was a Meat Hammer, and that was M. Yeah. So on and so forth. And then there was a Groovy. 
G. Yeah. So here you go. This is the inside of a Sphera. The balls just sort of sit there. They're so easy to just get lost. But you can take them out and you can swap them around all you want. And then there's these little chunks of foam in there. And those can come out as well. And then you can literally like spin the balls. I don't really like it that way. It does add even more rattle, but that's kind of what's going on with Sphera. It's, it's cool. I wanted you guys to see what was inside of it and how it all works. But I mean, I have these spare plates and I think that's going to be, that's enough to really kind of see what's going on. It's pretty cool.